Welcome to Joker Joker TV. Uh, episode 65. Live from the Caledonia. Yep, we're here in the old former Caledonia location. Now, so uh, uh, you know, uh, behind us here. an uh, uh, interesting note here. You know, this is the uh, first time we've actually been broadcasting outside the uh, hermetically sealed remote bunker. Oh yeah, that's true. That's that's right. And uh, fortunately, that. we were yeah. uh, nice enough to have the folks from the Caledonia host us. Yep. Uh, yep. They for the show. Us, they let us let us set up here. Uh, we've got some furniture from Habitat. Habitat uh, for Restore, Humanity. Yes. And they they supplied us with furniture and and everything we're doing here is uh, getting ready for this weekend. We're going to be doing the Joker Joker TV at Athfest. Even even though Athfest didn't was happen this year, Athfest? or you was at Athfest? Yeah. yeah, that's what I should have called it. Until was we all moved Athfest. someplace else <laughs> and called it something else, yeah. but we're still doing it. Yeah. What do we say we're gonna call it? Athfest. 
Yeah, well, we we've called it Ass Fest in the past. Oh, okay, you know? yeah. Um, this time around, you know, I mean, it was it was for Ass Fest, and so you know, it was because it was happening for Ass Fest, or because of Ass Fest, we we didn't really want to use the term Ass Fest. Right, year, right, right, right. You know, <laughs> but uh, now that Ass, I mean, the Ass Fest, I'm gonna get yeah. confused Ass now. Fest, Ass Fest, yeah. yeah. Now that Ass Fest didn't happen, we we could call it Ass Fest. As we could call it <laughs> Ass Fest. Too, I hear, yeah. I hear there's somebody else in town that's doing an Ass Fest, so we'll talk about that later on this yeah show. but uh let's uh introduce our guest we have here this we have casey casey and uh and introduce you yourself what uh, what's your name of your company it's silly pineapple i think yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so hi i'm casey uh i own silly you want to get that close yeah, yeah a little closer there my name is casey there i own go. silly pineapples um i'm a small local artist but um i do go by silly pineapple draws oh. on instagram oh, okay. Silly Pineapples on Etsy and SillyPineappleArt.com. So it's kind of kind of changes up, but Silly Pineapple is the consistent that Great. I've been going with. And you were going to be an AthFest a- a vendor this yes. year. Uh, so that that must have been a bummer for you that it was canceled. <laughs> yeah, I just came out with like a super cute new corgi design. Oh, yeah. And I, I literally got so much stock of it. So I'm hoping I'm yeah. going to be going to um, Southern Brewing Company's... Uh, uh, September, uh, September days, days yeah. yeah. September days, yeah. yeah. And it's uh, it's roughly the same times. It's like tomorrow from five to ten, yeah. Saturday from two to eleven, and Sunday from two to ten, or something like that. Yeah, something so, like that. So, um, yeah. come buy a corgi mm-hmm. off of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but also, <laughs> you know, come see all of the vendors. There's a lot of people I know who were going to go to Athfest, and they have moved over to Southern Brewing. So. Yeah. If you were looking for supporting local artists, we will be there. Um, yeah. And we're uh, later on in the show. We're going to mention a couple of other places. Uh, uh, now that Athfest was canceled, all the different artists scattered about in town, and there's there's like three or four different shows that are Athfest shows, basically. Um, I think the Southern Brewing place was probably the only place the vendors were going. Uh, I don't know if they they went anywhere else to other uh, the other places, but. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll fill you in a little bit more on that later in the show. Uh, so let's let's see a little bit of your product. Uh, you brought yes. some samples here. Yes. I see. Um, so let's hold that up and show everybody. Wow. So what do you do? You do stickers, magnets. What other kind of things do you do? Um, the only other thing I do right now is keychains, but I'm hoping to move on to like notepads. Um, greeting cards that was a cool keychain too i don't i don't know where that went it's it's somewhere around here but it was like a clear plastic kind of thing with printed on it that was really cool uh that, that was pretty neat yeah, so it was um r- uh, acrylic oh okay. which is kind of like a popular medium right now yeah and um not this company but the next company i'm getting stuff from they actually use recycled acrylic because it's Ooh. not the best for the environment yeah so that's kind of yeah. cool <laughs> that recycled acrylic not right yeah. now but well okay time. so you have me yeah. curious when you said recycled acrylic i'm thinking about okay you know how when you ladies all get your nails done, <laughs> you know, and the uh, Chinese oh, lady takes them off go. and does whatever? I wonder if that's what they make the recycled acrylic from. I it's mean, I would be happy with that. Recycled yeah, that yeah. would be kind of cool, right? You know, the recycled fingernails, fingernails thing, yeah. you know, the paint you stuff, know. you know. Uh, so if you mi- if you want to get, get a keychain that might be recycled fingernails, you right? know, make and sure to could get have a been handled <laughs> by an Asian person, you never know. No never no. know. <laughs> uh, uh, so you got. I see. I saw the corgi designs. What other kind of stuff you got? You uh, you had uh, something from the uh, Atlanta, but I mean not Atlanta, the the local but back bot gardens. Yeah. Right? Um, it's the op- opposite. Yeah. So yeah. Um, a little thing from the uh, botanical garden of Georgia. The yeah. The uh, orchid. I call it the orchid house, but it's not the orchid house. Um, the big uh, glass in enclosure. So I took a picture yeah. back in March and have been working on that. Oh, um, was that a was that a photo? Yes. Oh, yeah. I thought that was a drawing. Wow. Well, um, yeah, it is a drawing, but I took a photo in like. The oh, room nice. The okay. Photo. Okay. Yeah, the, because it's just too much detail. But yeah, 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 it's quite a bit of detail. <laughs> um, and then a self portrait, as I like to call it, the iguana doing um, just some painting nice some little snake hands a little links uh i have the white tiger building and oh yeah. the um the grit building anybody so that's not from <laughs> athens like those are like really good places to eat yeah. <laughs> so. so if you own a business in athens and you would like yeah <laughs> you know shameless self-promotion <laughs> if you would like to have your building made into a magnet or a sticker or memorialized a yeah i'm here <laughs> um, so that's really cool stuff uh 
I see and people can uh, can they check you out online too? Yeah, where? where yeah. We um. So I do have an Etsy, but the easiest way to find me is sillypineappleart.com. Um, it links you directly to my Etsy page, or you can go on Instagram. I have Silly Pineapple Draws on Instagram. So awesome, yeah. awesome. Okay, well, what you saw there at the beginning of the show was uh, Sean Pettis. It was called Worm Food. Yeah. Uh, and we're gonna play another piece by Sean Pettis coming up next. And after that, we got some uh, rinse. Some rinse. Uh, a, a new. Uh, I don't think this is a new piece from him, but maybe. Well, it it's is. new to us. Yeah, it's new to us. So yeah. <laughs> Um, and you pay attention. We've got a, a Athfest commercial in there. Um, our our broadcast for Athfest starts tomorrow at five o'clock, and and so this will give you a little bit more uh, look at what we'll be doing. So, uh, thanks for coming on the show, Casey. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank so you guys so much for having me. It's been yeah, wonderful. Definitely. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> It's about 43, I guess. I was in the Air Force in Europe, and at that time we had just moved uh, to a large airport in uh, France, the town of Saint Désert. Maybe that's in French pronounced otherwise, but anyway, to me it's Saint Désert. Not far away was a junkyard where they had accumulated scrap lumber and doors, windows. So uh, some of us uh, gathered up this stuff and made a shack. In my case, there were three of us. We built this little shack. And uh, one thing in the, that winter was an unusually cold when you're in the military, you have to realize that you always move to a place where they have the worst weather they ever had. It seems like you just get uh, tied in with this. Anyway, there was a lot of snow, and uh, at night we went to bed, and uh, uh, we found that there was a mouse that would come into the little shack. So. The idea is to catch, catch the mouse. Well, one time uh, I was laying in bed and uh, I could feel something moving down below under the covers and it was the mouse. <laughs> so I made a mouse trap out of cardboard and rubber bands. Now since it was cardboard, uh, as soon as you heard the mouse scrambling around there, uh, you had to catch him because obviously he could get through 
the cardboard. So we would take turns, and when whoever turn it was and heard the mouse, take the mouse out, and it was supposed to squash him with your foot. Can you imagine that? And so when it was my turn, I, was, I would just go outside and put the mouse in the snow, and everybody assumed I squashed the mouse. It so turns out, some weeks later, I learned that the other two guys were doing the same thing. They were not squashing the mouse, but letting him go. So I think we were catching the same mouse for weeks. And the mouse didn't seem to mind.
I, I should have mentioned. Wow, well, welcome back. That was that. You're just coming back just in time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, what I was talking about there uh, before we came back is I uh, I scheduled today's show, but I ske- accidentally scheduled it for 6:30 a.m. instead of 6:30 p.m. Accidentally mm-hmm. on YouTube. So if you guys are uh, uh, were wondering where we were this morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were still asleep like we were everybody still else sleeping. was. <laughs> but uh, uh, if you, I, uh, I don't know if you noticed something else. Uh-huh. We had a quick costume change. Yeah, quick you know why? Change. A little chilly. Because we are not in the hermetically sealed bunker. Yeah. You see, when we do the show, temperature uh, I turn the air conditioning off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, so uh, here they actually have it on, and we're actually comfortable. But it's actually kind of chilly. Yeah. And then that snowboarding video there. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I felt like I just bit into a York peppermint patty. I thought that video was funny. We, we've played a lot of stuff from Rince uh, uh, over the last couple months and oh stuff. Yeah, yeah. And And that was a silly one, I thought. Um, and they're always good. Taking uh, some, like, snowboarding videos and putting his music to it. You know, that was pretty funny. Yeah. So, uh, thanks, Rince. Thanks for continuing to send us in cool stuff. It, yes. It's really awesome. Uh, so but, once uh, again, this is starting to get cold. Maybe you could do some uh, uh, like the the hot beach ones. The hot beach ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so we could be, you know, some of us are missing spring and summer already. So uh, we got to get some people on the other side of the world to send exactly. Us some videos. Yeah, make us jealous. <laughs> but uh, so you might notice that we're in a different location. If you're just joining us uh, and you weren't here at the beginning of the show, uh, we are at uh, uh, broadcasting from the Caledonia Lounge here in Athens, Georgia. Yes. So you can see behind us the the old bar. Um, the Caledonia closed down during the pandemic, unfortunately. This is one of uh, all of our favorite uh, bar and venue, place to see shows. Oh, yeah. Uh, behind, this was the place to go, too. Yeah. Behind the camera uh, on that side of the room is where the stage is. Um, so tomorrow you'll be able to see more of that side of the house because... Uh, We're rehearsing uh, everything. Well, we're no. going to be showing uh, uh, performers. Oh, uh, yeah, so yeah, that would make the most sense, yeah. <laughs> so tomorrow uh, we start the uh, Joker Joker TV at AthFest, um, and we're going to have artist interviews. We're going to have uh, some of the artists will be performing live on the show. Uh, that starts at 5 o'clock tomorrow and goes till 9 o'clock, and then uh, Saturday from uh, noon until 9 o'clock. And then Sunday from noon until seven o'clock. So uh, we got a long weekend ahead of us here, and right. uh, we hope you join us. Oh, it's going to be kind of like a retreat. There's That's a, the actual stage. There's a shot of the stage. Is that a live shot? We still got a. And they, we actually have a shot of Flower Bear uh, on the set oh, yeah. guarding the stage, just oh, that in case somebody p- goes to uh, attack. That was a picture earlier from when uh, Cowgirl was hanging out with us. Yeah, well, she's still there, I guess. She's still here. Yeah. yeah cool. Maybe she'll she'll come in on the show today sometime. Uh, maybe maybe next host we'll see her or something. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay, so uh, we wanted to sort of announce um, some of the artists that you will be seeing this weekend. Um, there there were over uh, fifty artists this year scheduled for Athfest. Uh, Athfest is a big event that usually happens here in Athens uh, that brings uh, you know a lot of people into town. Um, but we, we've, we've always have multiple stages out on the streets of downtown and with multiple artists playing all day long. And unfortunately, Athfest was canceled this year. Yes. So uh, we're going to be doing a live stream. Um, we were going to be covering the event, but uh, since the event is, is canceled, we're, we're kind of, you know. Covering the artists that would have played. At yeah, Asf- Co- at Athfest. covering what would have happened. What exactly. would have happened? Yes, <laughs> so, yes, what would have? Know. Yes. Um, so please join us uh, all this weekend if you uh, are are at, at a computer or you're at a device where you can watch the show, or if you're um, hooked up on a ventilator. Now, dude, it, I'm sure they yeah. let you watch YouTube from there. Yeah, maybe. I mean, <laughs> and now, if you're going to uh, one of the shows that are happening this weekend instead of Athfest. Uh, you have fun with that, and uh, later on, check the show out again because we're going to have some, you know, artist interviews. So we, you're going to get a little bit of the uh, behind-the-scenes look at uh, uh, what these artists, uh, who these artists are, and and what they do. So uh, let me announce, I guess, some of the artists. Let's see where we at. Oh, actually, let's see. That was what we were. I was supposed to announce that uh, last time, but um, 
I forgot. So Nicholas uh, Malice, uh, BYV Trub, he he played. Uh, oh yeah, he played uh, uh, at the Joker a few times, didn't the, he? The Weirdo Yard Sale. Yeah. At the Weirdo Yard Sale, yeah. And uh, and his cohort uh, Trevi. Oh uh, yeah. They were. Th- How he could was you here forget Trevi? Yeah. Uh, then we got Squall. I, th- I think that's how you say it. Squall or Squalle. I'm not sure. Oh, Squalle. Yeah. I'm not they, sure exactly. They always put on a good show too. Uh, we'll have another vendor, um, another artist, Marissa Mustard. Uh, Ooh. She's going to be joining us, and we'll be talking to her. She does. Um, she does uh, uh, mural paintings. Oh, okay. That'll so be cool. Yeah. I, I was wondering, you know, like she does mural art. I was wondering what she do- was going to do for Athfest. You know, um, probably smaller pieces, of course. But, you know, uh, uh, I haven't seen those as much. I've seen a lot of her. Uh, um, oh, there's, there's Maria. There's Maria. Working behind around. the scenes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mary Margaret Cozart. We're going to have her no, coming in. I wonder in. if uh, she's la- the other one. She's related to uh, Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Famous uh, we'll Colonel. Have to, we'll have to ask her. <laughs> it would be a clue. Uh, Convict Julie. Uh, Wayuka. I think she's free now. Got yeah, yeah. Going. Well, yeah. she's she's performing. I mean, I don't think. I don't, maybe she got a day pass. Oh yeah, it could be. I don't know. So, uh, Hazel Virtue uh, Issues is going to be here. Uh, Annie Leith, DK, and a lot more. So we've got uh, a couple confirmations still coming in last minute here, but uh, we'll make more announcements uh, starting tomorrow. So be sure to join us at about five o'clock uh, for that. So. Yeah, that should be a lot of fun, too. Yeah. Now, let's see. Uh, coming up next, we've got uh, oh, a Tim piece. Hall this is, Now, this is a... Uh, huh? Tim Hall House, right? Yeah, Tim Hall House. Uh, this is a uh, world premiere. Oh. So, this is uh first time anybody's probably got a chance to see this video. Uh, it's a new video from Tim Hall House. Now, you know, before you go on and on about this, uh-huh. I, I want to let you and know, everybody know, uh, in on a big secret here. Okay. Yeah. So if you noticed, we had the time for the show pre-programmed for 6.30 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Well, that was basically because we wanted to have a big, uh, you know, uh, wherewithal and anticipation for Tim Holthouse's (laughs) worldview first appearance of his new uh, piece. One of the artists later in the show, he he wrote me, and I, I got that message this morning, and he was like, uh, when was the show again? <laughs> and I and I didn't even realize that I had done that until just like right before we started the show. I was like, oh no, a.m. instead of p.m. Yeah. So uh, sorry about that, Frederick. Uh, sorry to make that all confusing for you. I know you were promoting the hell out of it. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, you know, I, I messed up there. I'm sorry. But uh, so this uh, Tim Holhouse piece, this was filmed while he was. Uh, he's from the U.K. Right, and uh, but you know uh, he's played at the Joker. You yeah, know, he's he's times. toured in the United States quite a bit. Right, uh, and this is this one of his tours in the United States. He was going through uh, uh, Arizona area, so this is uh, the in this video that we're about to watch. You'll see a lot of footage from Arizona driving down the street and stuff like that. Um, and I, th- I think this is called. I don't think uh, he was being chased by a trooper or anything. So <laughs> yeah, I hope not. No worries there. <laughs> so this is ca- uh, this piece is called Desert Winds. And uh, so I think it's not something new from him. Uh, now, he was supposed to be coming back. Yeah. Uh, I believe maybe it was around November time he's supposed to be coming back. But uh, our borders got shut down and they weren't they wasn't letting anybody coming in from any other countries because our COVID numbers are so bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to give a great shout out. We finally have surpassed. The uh, oh, yeah. 1918 Spanish flu in the number of deaths. So what? how many people died in 1918? 650,000. Now, that was just in the United States, right? Right, in the United States. Yeah, yeah. so we've yeah. surpassed that. Right, and we have now United hit States. 675,000. Yeah, so be smart, everybody. Go get your vaccine. Yeah. I mean, you know. Don't die. They even made it so it doesn't even hurt. <laughs> I mean, like most people, like that, like the only reason they could tell it was going in was because everybody was filming it going in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, well, let's, uh, this is Tim Hohouse, and then after that, we've got something from Bats. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs>
I love my Joker Joker TV. There's some very large fans. <laughs> Damn, I thought that was real for a second. Jesus. That's it.
That's right. Okay. Joker, joker. Bonjour, je m'appelle Frédéric Hiriart. Je suis artiste plasticien et designer. Et je viens spécialement pour l'exposition à Drouot pour euh, présenter deux de mes œuvres, spécialement emmenées de Stockholm en Suède. J'habite la Suède depuis euh, 1986, hein, où je suis allé en autostop euh, à cette époque pour trouver une sorte de lumière nordique. All right. All right, welcome back. All right, sorry about the trouble there uh, in the stream a little bit ago. We we were trying to play Tim's piece, uh, Tim Hohouse, and something happened with that. I don't, right, I don't know. Right, yeah. It was something about the uh, Maybe not the being in the hermetically sealed bunker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're in a new location, so uh, you yeah. know, we'll see. We've but that last one was uh, Frederic. Let me see if I... Oh, yeah. Iriarte. 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 So, so I hope um, we said it right. Yep, I think so. Uh, so, let's see. We Man, that bats one freaked me out, didn't it? Yeah, the bats one. That was um, Sonar Blood Crown 6. And that was from Bats, who... Uh, a friend of ours named Scott Bazaar is in that band and with a couple other guys. Uh, and so they submitted that recently. Oh, there's Cowgirls hanging out. What's yeah. up, Cowgirl? Apparently she's on bags now. Yeah, I guess she was out interviewing some people. She's still got her microphone. Oh, yes. Uh, she's been out on the street interviewing people, I think, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so uh, what you saw there, um, you saw a little piece of the Tim Hull House. Uh, sorry about that, Tim. We'll, we'll we'll try to figure that out and maybe put that on another episode. Um, then after that was the Bats. uh and then after that, you saw the the uh, uh, irrealist art um, people. That was Frederick. How do you say his last name? You Frederick. Say it again? Yeah. Irial. There you go. <laughs> so uh, he's an artist from uh, Sweden, originally uh, I believe from France area, but he's now living in Sweden since the uh, I believe it was like the early late eighties. No, early see, 90s, okay, so see now you got my curiosity going. Yeah. Okay. Well, we we couldn't understand necessarily what he was saying in that last no, video. No, no, no. But I mean, okay. So, so <laughs> what I want to know. But it was you got to see is if it. if he's talking. Yeah. Do the, the you know if, let's say he's speaking in Swedish. Yeah. Right. Or maybe it was French. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. But but what if uh, you know how like uh people that uh you know from like Central America they come up to the United States right, yeah. you know like. The second generation, they don't actually speak Spanish. It's more like Spanglish. Oh, yeah. You know, like half Spanish, half English. Yeah. I wonder if he's doing any of that, like half Swedish, half <laughs> French. Yeah, maybe. I, I mean, they you know. Call they call it uh, Swanch or, or Swench. Yeah, I mean, you know, most of those countries, uh, there's a lot of different languages being spoke. Yeah. And um, my gr like my grandparents, they're from Europe, and... They they could speak a couple different languages, uh, you know, because they they traveled around and and they went to Paris, they went to uh, I forget where else, but so a, a lot of those places they had to learn the language of the land, you know. Yeah. And uh, when they came to America, they watched John Wayne movies and until they learned English. So. <laughs> yeah, but you know, uh, you know, I have tried to learn a few languages. Yeah. I only managed to get one down. And that was English. Yeah. Well, we're gonna ha we're gonna have a lot more from uh, Frederick Irarte. Irarte. If I say it right, get my tongue. Frederick Irarte. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch more pieces from him in just a second. Um, but uh, first, we're gonna talk a little bit more about our Athfest, uh, 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 Joker Joker TV at Athfest broadcast that's gonna start tomorrow at uh, five o'clock. Uh, there you go. Ooh, there's check the this out. Yes. There's the uh, poster for that. So uh, five to nine on Friday. Uh, noon till nine on Saturday, and then noon till seven on Sunday. Uh, so make Whew. sure to tune in for that too. Uh, a couple of the, uh, uh, you know, when when Athfest got canceled, a lot of the artists moved to other shows around town. Right. And, yes. And, and you know, so that these these shows could still happen. I've got a few of those here. 
Um, I wanted to mention we've got uh, September Days Festival that's happening uh, at the Southern, Southern Brewing nice. Company. Southern Brewing Company. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And uh, then we've got a, a show called Local Friends Fest, and that's happening at the Tron Factory. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's a couple doors up the street from here. Uh, and then after that, we've got the After Fest. Uh, that's going to be happening at the Flickr Bar, uh, Theater and Bar. Uh, and then we've got, let's see, Ass Fest will be happening at Cozy Bar. Ooh, check out Cozy Bar. And then the, uh, to uh, this, and this is, this last one here, I, I really like the name of the festival because you can tell they put this together last minute. It's called the Totally Still Happening Fest. Totally still happening <laughs> fest. So that's going to be happening at the normal bar on the first day. And then um, I think they're moving over to, um, oh, I forget, I don't have that note here for some reason. But they're moving that over to an, uh, something else the next day here. I've got it right here. Um, so the first day you can be weird in the normal bar. <laughs> Second day you got to go to the other place. Bouvez, that's what Bouvez, it is. Bouvez, yeah. The, the Bouvez Coffee House. Um, that'll be on uh, the Saturday. The show will be over there. So uh, we've got, you know, like I said, I mentioned earlier, we, there was, was over 50 artists uh, for Athfest this year. So uh, those all those artists just got spread out to all these other shows. So if you're in, if you're in Athens to see the Athfest show, make sure to pick up a Flagpole magazine. And yeah, that's like the newspaper locally here in Athens. Yeah, they have all the listings and everything. Yeah. And they, uh, you look for your favorite artist, see where their new show is going to happen. And uh, and then also, you know, if you're not going to be out and about, make sure to tune in to uh, Joker Joker TV at Athfest over the next three days. And we're going to have a couple of those artists here uh, featured live, uh, live interviews, live performances, things like that. So. It's going to be really, really, really cool. Yeah, oh yeah. And, uh, yeah, especially if you are uh, you haven't been vaccinated, you're still shelter in place with your mask on, mm -hmm. this is the way you do a festival. Right from the, uh, you know, quality comfort of the living room that you exactly. is in your uh, own hermetically <laughs> sealed bunker. All right, so uh, you saw that, that introduction piece there uh, of Frederick's. Um, that was, uh, I believe that was like showing off a little bit of his art. Uh, you got to see some of the art that he does, uh, which is pretty amazing. Oh, uh, my God. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I did mean forget to mention this one. Uh, go back to that last, or yeah, the Athens yeah, the Industry yeah. Night. That's happening tonight. Ooh. Actually. Athens Industry Night. So I wanted to be sure to let everybody know about class. that. For the working class. So uh, I think it's, yeah, it says uh, 8 o'clock. Legendary edition. And you can see the, uh, some of the rappers and the singers and other musicians they're going to have. It's industry night, so it's going to be kind of like a showcase uh, of some artists, uh, open mic, and, and then not like a networking event as well. So wow. uh, make sure to attend that if you're in town. Uh, I heard DJ Slim's going to be uh, doing the DJing over there. Oh, yeah? DJ Slim? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, I think okay. I heard that. Yeah. Does it say that on the flyer? I oh, don't yeah. know. I can't read that far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that starts at 8 p.m. and goes till midnight tonight. So make sure. Um, where where is that at? That's. Uh, uh, it looks like a 910 Hawthorne. It was the last time I was over there. I'm not sure if it's still there mm -hmm. or not. I'm not sure where where that show is happening actually. So. Or 810. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, look it up in the Flagpole magazine. You you'll get more information there. So. Uh, okay. But anyways, back to uh, what we were saying about Frederick. Um, you saw some of his art in that last piece there. Now, uh, I, I watched an interview that was pretty extensive interview with him and the uh, National uh, Beat Poet Society um, right. here in the United States, and, and they, they've uh, teamed up on a couple things. Um, I think this next piece is one of those. Um, he, from, from what I understand from that interview, he, he's very similar to what we do, you know, gathering different artists together to collaborate together. Uh, the way he kind of approaches is he takes musicians and 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 poets and and other artists and he does shows just together with these people and, you know and so you'll see different poets and different artists uh, backing up on music and things like that and then of course Frederick's always playing or, or producing the, the thing yeah but you know what I want to know mm -hmm. is what comes first does the beat come and then he's thinking of the words 
or do the words come first? Yeah. And they decide to match it up with the beat. Well, uh, lucky enough, they talked about that in an interview. Uh, so I guess I can answer that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah What's I was the I was wondering the same one? thing, and so like I, I watched the interview, and and the, he was talking about basically uh, it's both. You know, sometimes it depends on the poem. It depends on the the performance artist that is 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 rec- this, the uh, uh, beat poet that is reciting the poem. Right. You know, it, sometimes the musicians follow them. Sometimes the poet follows the the musicians, and they they you know it's like an improv where you're 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 throwing it back and forth. You're you're working together, you know, to create that like piece. That. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, he, uh, you can check out their. Uh, we'll talk about it more in a minute, but uh, you can check out their Bandcamp, and and he's got a lot of these things there. Like every piece that we're going to show today from uh, the Irrealist Art and Film, and, let's see, Art, Film, and Music Edition. That's the name of their YouTube page. Um, everything that we're showing from there is is different artists, and each one of those pieces is only a piece of a bigger album. So oh, nice. you can go get the whole album by going to their band camp and, and, and listening to it there. So uh, do we have that? Uh, so you might want to get them while they're uh, before they sell out. Do we have that? Because I heard um, they're going fast. The uh, Maybe we'll, sh- we'll talk about it next. Uh, the, the, the piece. Yeah, that was the next. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. So that uh, coming up, this is uh, something they're going to be releasing soon. So Ooh, we're, we're kind of announcing that. that. Uh, releasing you, soon. Under and Above the Sky is the name of the album, I believe. And then uh, it's it's Unic, U-N-I-C-6. Uh, that's the uh, the band camp, which you can see the band camp right there. Unic okay, six yeah. Dot bandcamp.com. So make sure to go there after the after this. and, and That would be what, U-N-I-C them. and the number six for yeah. all of our blind people that are watching? No, I mean, I don't know. I, I said Unic. I don't know if you pronounce oh, it Oh, yeah, that but way, it looks but like. Uh, U-N-I-C, yeah. yeah. And then the number <laughs> six, yeah. So check that out. Um, and this next piece is going to be featuring uh, Paul Richmond, I believe it is. Um, and he's he's doing a poem called People Dying in the Street. So um, and then uh, we're going to we're going to take a break for the with the smoke room and we'll be back in just a little bit. So stick around. Awesome. There's bodies in the street. I walked into a store and I said to him, There's bodies in the street. I said, Do you know that there are bodies in the street? They asked me what day it was. And I said it was Monday. And they said there's always bodies in the streets on Monday. And I said, what do you mean? And they said it's a long weekend. There's no job. The new week isn't bringing any hope. And there goes the blame, the arguments. And yeah, you're finding bodies in the street. When I ask my friends, what should I do? What can we do about the bodies in the streets on Monday? They said, is it upsetting you? And I said, yeah, I don't want to walk around on the streets trying to get my latte and have to walk over all the bodies.
They said, why don't you go get a latte on Tuesday? I don't think there's any bodies in the streets on Tuesdays. What is B? What is B? He asked me what, what is B? B was, so I told him. What is B? B is not a what. B is a bit. What is B? It's jazz blue. What is B? crying out on a night of moody stars over a city that never sleeps? What is B? The struggle of hard what is bones B? and empty bottles. What is B? It's dreams left what is sleeping B? by the click clack railroad what is tracks and dreams. Waking on the beach with a taste of last night's drunk still in your cool, mouth. Cool, cool, cool. It's calling out your lover's name so loud it shakes the sky to brightness and moves through the day with fierce determination. It's living present and feeling the perception like there will not be another day like this ever. It's balancing feathers and driving around. of Live in the Smoke Room with uh, Rick Sh- Ricochet. Oh, you're fading out there. Yeah, I'm fading in oh, and out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Disappearing <laughs> fast. Now, yeah. this episode of uh, Live in the Smoke Room is uh, brought to you by Doggone Good Barbecue. And it is doggone now, good. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you something. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I have this little thing where I like to, you know, take random friends over there. Oh, yeah. Because I'm addicted to the rib sandwich. Oh man! And like, oh my god, dude! They they the the, the, the ribs on there that they give you, <laughs> they are so thick. Yeah. You're like, oh m g. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna have to uh, if you're in the Athens area, make sure you check out the doggone good barbecue. Definitely. Tell them the Joker sent you. But uh, you know, I was thinking about this. You know, uh, a couple weeks ago we were talking about this. It's uh, September is uh. National Suicide Awareness Month. Yeah. All right. Okay. And we all have those friends that have some uh, issues. Uh, it's a crazy time of year, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, I was also thinking about this. that uh, Sometimes in life we get kind of caught up in the uh, in the mundane. You know, like we're always like working about, okay, next week I'm going to be paying the rent, the electric bill, and uh, the week after that two credit cards. And we forget something. You know what we forget? Mm. We forget that we have permission to dream. <laughs> yeah. Right? Now, uh, now, why is that? Why, why, why is it that we don't think of that? I'll tell you why. Because uh, a lot of times we quit dreaming because we forgot how to make it possible for those things to happen. So uh, I got a couple of steps. Number one. You know, uh, dream about something. Maybe yeah. take a picture of it, put it up on the refrigerator with one of those great magnets that uh, uh, Casey had. That would be great, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the other thing is... It's like it, a dream board. You right, know, create yeah. your dream board on your refrigerator right, yeah. or something. Because then we visualize it, right? Yeah, when you see it. Then what we got to do is, is make a list of, like, all the things we're going to need to make that dream happen. Now, all of those things e- individually, they are like puzzle pieces. And when you put them in line, it forms a ladder. And every time you climb that, you do one of those accomplishments, that's a win. Mm-hmm. And you climb a rock. The right? whole idea is getting up to the top as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing is, you can't give up. Every, you know... Uh, no plan works out exactly the way it's supposed to. Yeah, I mean, if you watched our show long enough, we mess something up every single week. <laughs> it always goes out of plan, right? Yeah. But guess what? We still do it anyway. So I just want to let you all know that uh, you have permission to dream. Yep. And September's going to be great for you. Yep. It's going to be a good month. Yep. Oh, and a happy first day of autumn. And uh, for all of our Rona people that didn't get the vaccine... 
Hope you're getting all the health care you need, and hope you got a, a ventilator waiting for you. Yeah, hope so. Yeah. Hospitals around here are full. Oh, yeah, yeah but the great thing is uh, uh, you'll at least not have to worry about the bad taste of food because <laughs> uh, you won't have uh, any sense of smell or taste anyway, so yeah. you should chow down on that stuff while you got the chance. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be back in just a minute. Let's hear. Let's see some more pieces from uh, the Irate. Frederick Irate. Irate. Poeta Sanlieto P. To be ahead of your journey is the beginning of wisdom. If our own ways were ours, we would never regret it. We swallow all the time our own Regret has no value. Botswana, this is China, this is Samaria, this is Sweden, it's like a fat that doesn't have a smell, but you might even call it an unconscious fat. Mayele, Ahu, Mayele, Oba, an advice to all those who are scared to be accepted. To be overwhelmed by progress. To Problems is to engage your thinking. It's so fit, it correctly, but you know, but we are problems that are far beyond your control. You leave them to lazy spirits. Como we are the moon, we are the cows that go to the spirits go by themselves. We caught a bad deal. The color Ends of the spirits are always best, and that's why even Mujaji, our rain queen, has never satisfied them. Mm. Poeta, let be the ahead of your journey is the beginning of of your journey is the beginning of wisdom. 
mantswe a rona e le a rona o ka be re sa re ka if as a always the hours you never regret it we solo o we ka be ga ona o so Regret has no value. It's fun. This is China. See, that's All the right. thing I like about the show the best. Yeah. It's like every week, it's it's something different. Yeah. And you know, uh, it's about time we hit the poetry people. Yeah. Exactly. You know, like yeah. I noticed, like this whole episode, we kind of had like that whole theme going. Yeah. A little and bit. I liked it. You know. Yeah, we uh, in fact we have a show coming up that we're we're kind of still organizing right now. We've just been talking about it, but we're talking about getting some uh, storytellers and some some musicians together for something around uh, Halloween time or something like that. We're gonna put a show on at the at the gallery live in person in the backyard. Heck yeah, so, yeah. So so if you're in the Athens area right around that time, you should be yeah. checking us out online and see uh, if there's any updates on that type of stuff. So the uh, last one there you saw uh, to be wise that was um, the the uh, the poet that you were listening to was uh, if I get his name right the Lef- fifi or the fifi the fifi Tladi 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 yeah so he's from uh, South Africa uh, he's a author and a painter um, and the uh, the pieces on that release. Um, I, there's a, you know, of course, each one of these that w- videos that we're seeing today, uh, represents a whole album, a rele- a release that they put out. And, and that's just one of the pieces th- from that album. Right. Um, so you should check that album out while they still have some left. So that was from the album called Proverbs and it was inspired by South African traditional spoken word and Proverbs. So, uh, that was really interesting to me. That kind of reminds you of like, like. What I would picture, like, the old medicine man type thing, oh storyteller yeah. would be. Yeah. Like, I, I always, like, thought that would be so cool if we could just, like, you know, be sitting there and, like, hearing one of those old shaman medicine oh men yeah. type, uh, yeah. giving their story. And that was, uh, that was published recently. That was, um, March 22nd, uh, this year. Uh, it also featured, uh, uh, Frederick, uh, Iriar- Iriarte. And uh, we had, um, let's see, Erickson uh, Pina. 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 Uh, I don't know if I'm saying any of these Pena. names right. No, it's Pena. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then Jair. 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 I don't know how to say that. Jair. Jair. Rom. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Parker Wells. And then Erickson Pina. So, uh, that, that was a couple of the artists. I didn't mention the artist from the video earlier um, as much. I mentioned Paul Richmond. Uh, he was a USA poet um, that was featured on that one. But then we have um, Mary, uh, Mario uh, Zeppelini and um, Juan Carlos Jimenez. And, uh, Jimenez. And then um, Ben, I'm not say, sure how to say, Benno uh, Bjorklund from uh, Sweden. So uh, oh, okay. some uh, some of those Swedish names are a little hard yeah, for me to even, even figure out how to pronounce. I'm sorry about that if I said it wrong. I'm sure I did. Uh, you know, I'm if anybody's in Sweden, <laughs> I wonder if they, they eat Swedish meatballs there. Or if that's just an American thing. Yeah, that might just be an American thing. They, yeah, they, I love Swedish meatballs. Yeah. My mom used to make those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, you said we were supposed to be talking about the sponsors in this one. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's we right. forgot about that totally. Yeah, well you saw the uh the, the Athfest intro that we played earlier. Uh that's that's gonna be the intro for our, our, our Athfest uh uh Joker Joker T V at Athfest uh broadcast that we're gonna be doing all week. And it featured a few of the sponsors on there. Uh let me let me list out the other ones here. Uh, Jittery Joe's there you go. Athens. Now uh, first of all, if you go over there you gotta go see Charlie. Yes. And um the Say secret is, you tell him to get you one of the mice copies, and just tell you to su- surprise you. <laughs> Believe me, you will not be disappointed. Yeah, that was good. He yeah. made us made us some real good coffee. We were, we were there last, and um, let's see. So we had Jittery Joe's. We had Belgian Coffee Shop. Um, they helped us out quite a bit. 
No, um, wait, wait, wait. I didn't think Bell Jeans was a coffee shop. Aren't co- they a print shop? Copy. Oh, copy. Not coffee. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> copy shop. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Then uh, Fake Zappa with Sunday Driver Productions. Uh, always uh, also always a sponsor. puts on a good show. Uh, Athens GA Music Live. That's a YouTube channel. Uh, we're friends with Gregory Frederick that runs that channel, and he is prolific at filming all the shows that happen in Athens. Well, God, I hope he's going to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, at all the shows this weekend. That's what I hear. I hear he's going to be trying to run around to a bunch of different shows to try to capture as much as he can. So uh, if you want to get a good look at what happens in Athens on a regular basis, uh, this, you know, Athens, Georgia is known as USA Music Town uh, quite a bit. Because Absolutely. You had REM and, and uh, uh, B-52s that made this, uh, you know, town really famous. And... Uh, Oh, I'm seeing something in the background. Yeah, who, who we yeah. got back there? <laughs> Is that Maria back there? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, TV woman. <laughs> what is that? TV head uh, woman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, k- TV dinner head woman. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could be blueberry pie woman. All right. We also had uh, R- Ramos Studios. GA, Ramos Studios. And yes. That's, uh, our very own Maria Ramos, who helps us out here with the at the Joker Joker. Uh, she's our uh, uh, assistant producer. So nice. Uh, we also had, as I mentioned earlier, Habitat Restore. Uh, they supplied all the furnishings that that you see the the chairs. The, uh, the couch and, and a lot of the, the uh, stuff that we're using for this weekend. So a lot of this stuff will be available for sale. Uh, I guess maybe if you want some of these pieces, you could contact us and we can maybe try to arrange for it to get you these pieces. But right. uh, otherwise, you just want to go down to uh, Habitat Restore and pick some of this stuff up. Oh, dude, they've got a whole bunch of new stuff over there, too. Yeah. Well, it's new, it's new to them. And then... Uh, Wicked Weed Brewing. We got some T-shirts on right now. I don't know if you can see them on the show. Oh yeah. Uh, Wicked Weed Brewing. They're out of Asheville, North Carolina, uh, here in the United States, and um, they uh, supplied us with a couple goodies uh, for the artist and stuff like that. So want to give them a shout out as well. Uh, and I think does that cover everybody? Did I? Oh, say? and don't forget the uh, doggone good barbecue. Oh yeah, that's right. Doggone yeah. good. You mentioned them earlier. Yep. See now you got me craving one of them rib sandwiches. I know. I think we're. I think that food's coming tomorrow. So. Oh my God, we're getting food too. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. Yeah, he's gonna give us some food. So we'll we'll get to show everybody what it looks like at least. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But if you're in Athens, make sure to go by there. That's the best food. Yeah, yeah. Best dude. barbecue in and, town. And, uh, so. Yeah, he's a he's an amazing person. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Um, let's see. Okay, so coming up next, uh, we have another piece from the Irrealist Art Film and Music Editions YouTube. Uh, this piece is, uh, let me find, I'm, I gotta scroll to it. Uh, this is called Hypercube, and this is one of my, this is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, that's why we're playing it. I, I really like this piece, so. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be like the one about the Rubik's Cube. Well, yeah, it's got the, the video of the Rubik's Cube. Well, you know, before <laughs> we start watching the Rubik's Cube, uh, yeah. uh, thing, you know, like, let me tell you something. All you people that can do the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. I uh, I give a shout out to you personally, <laughs> okay? Because now when I was a kid, I had the knockoff Rubik's cube, not the original brand, yeah. the knockoff one, right? Yeah. So uh, I worked on that thing for two and a half years. I got it down to matching all four corners, on all sides, <laughs> okay? Yeah. yeah. And then my cousins came over and they're like, "Oh, Rubik's cube! Yeah, they messed that up in twenty seconds." Oh. Damn. I had a cousin that gave me a, a, a real Rubik's Cube, right? Yeah. My mom made me give it back because she's like, oh, you already have one. I'm like, oh, mom, mom, I got the knockoff. It's not the same. Oh, it's not good enough? <laughs> the original yeah. Ru- Rubik's Cube, like, it, it, oh, it yeah, just the, moved the, the, the so well. Oh, yeah, the smoothness of it, The yeah. smoothness of how it moved and those knockoffs. I had a knockoff, too. Yeah, knockoffs, yeah. You, you couldn't turn that if you tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was so hard to do. And, uh, like I heard there was like a little oil that you could put in there and, and oil them up. But, you know, as a kid, I don't know. You know? Yeah. You don't know about that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so. You don't get introduced to lube until you're 18. Yeah. So this uh, so this next piece, uh, it, it was kind of more a uh, uh, look at, at his noisier side of, of stuff that the, uh, Frederick's done done 
with uh, collaborating with different artists. Um, he's going to be he in this piece. He'll be um, we'll see Rodrigo uh, Passante. I think I'm saying that right, maybe. And then Ericsson uh, Pena again. This is another piece with him. He's from Chile uh, and Sweden. So you'll, you'll get to see a couple different artists. Uh, once again, like this is uh, just a one piece that represents the whole album. So go to their uh, band camp and see more. Uh, go to their YouTube page, which uh, I know that stuff's not in the description now, but I'll get it in there later. Uh, we had a little bit of a mix-up this morning. Yeah, time so, zones got yeah, mixed up. Sorry. Time zones got mixed up, yep. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fix that after the show, and you'll be able to follow those links and, and find more from these artists. But so. it is, uh, you know, uh, uh, we did start at 6.30 a.m. in Asia, you know, today. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. just that we're on uh, Athens time, which is also New York time for uh, anybody that uh, isn't geographically familiar with Athens. Yeah, and where uh, where Frederick was uh, is, I think he said it was uh, twenty three hundred. Oh, okay, so, so it's eleven it's o'clock. Man, he stayed so up late for that, dude. So he must have been so excited this morning, thinking, oh, "Hell yeah, they're gonna do the show yeah. six thirty America time early." <laughs> yeah, that'll be like what uh, 11, 15, uh, 12 o'clock uh, afternoon. Yeah, there's yeah. Well, it's been so much going on this weekend with Athfest and everything, so. You know, it getting getting all this information together and and getting all these artists like scheduled to come down here and and meet with us and and, and do interviews and and do performances. So uh, we're gonna have quite a show to, uh, this weekend. Make sure you tune in. Uh, it's gonna be pretty amazing. So and uh, don't forget to share it with your friends, especially the drunk ones <laughs> that are at the bar on Southern Nights where all the cool people are gonna be. Yeah, and jibber jabber. Jibber yeah. jabber. <laughs> are we talking too much? <laughs> all right i think we i think we got everything we mentioned all the uh sponsors all the artists uh i think we covered everything so yeah uh you should be well informed of what we're going to be doing this weekend and make sure and join us and we'll see you guys next time <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.